Uh, Coach yeah, Nelson Haggerty, Coach, congratulations you. again. Thank great you. getting into the Elite Eight three years in a row, and especially in your first season, quite an accomplishment. Uh, Coach, we'll get your thoughts about the game, and then we'll have questions for the student athletes. Uh, what another great game. What a regional final. I mean, Arkansas Tech. I mean, those guys do an incredible job. Uh, they were just a hard guard. They really were. They spread the floor good. And as well as they shoot it, they're just as good at penetrating and finding guys. And, you know, I thought they, you know, they even were, they got some loose balls and rebounding it. And their guards do such a great job at chasing balls down. And, I mean, just what a, what a great team they are. And, you know, our guys definitely, we definitely had to play our best ball in order to beat them. And in that second half, uh, I really thought, I mean, we shot at a high clip. We shared the basketball. And, um, we made plays for each other. We really did. And, you know, in the meantime, you know, we guarded them well, I felt like, and we got rebounds when we needed them to. In our uh, student athletes, we have your uh, tournament outstanding player, Michael Lloyd, uh, Kevin Grayer, and Michael, uh, Jamichael Rivers. All three were on the all-tournament team. So congratulations on that, guys. Good job. And uh, we'll take questions for our student athletes now if you'll wait and we'll bring the mic. Start with you, Kevin. He uh, – Put you in to get a big, and then the, uh, you you kind of changed the game a little. I thought with your with your dribble drive, but you were boarding too. Just what what was your mission? You know that he'd given you when you headed in there. Well, being um, an undersized four, mostly it's just I have to always watch out. Nothing has to be active. You know, I can't rely strictly on height or anything like that, or even just jumping a little bit. I have to the rebound. I have to see it coming off the hands. And, you know, anticipate where it's going to go off the rim. So, I mean, with rebounding, it's just a thought process. I mean, with, you know, usually if I'm at the four, I have a mismatch off the dribble. Uh, pretty much every game. So, I mean, it was just pretty much when I get it, just attack and make plays myself or my teammates. Did you like how that game picked up in the second half, Mike? Just how? The scoring picked up. They hit some shots, but y'all came right back at them. Yeah, they uh, like I said, they spread the floor, so they uh, they have some driving lanes. But when we guard, we get we get easy transition buckets, like we like we uh, like we work on. We work on guarding, and it turns into easy baskets for us. And uh, that's how we like to play uh, up tempo. So as long as we stay focused, don't have any lapses on defense, it usually turns out pretty good for us offensively. <laughs> Just keep them out. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, Mike, you kind of responded to the, you know, when they, a lot of times they hit and five seconds later you you were hitting to get the lead back when it was kind of going back and forth. Uh, well, did, did the game become kind of fun there for a little bit or was that tense because it was close? What, what kind of changed? Because the first half kind of drug out a little bit. I mean, I like, I like, I mean, I, I, mean, I like playing up on the, uh, that intense crowd. I mean, I can score the ball and w will, but I like defending too. So, me playing like defense like took up my offense, so it got me going. When did it sink in? I, I saw three of you. When did it kind of sink in that you're you're going back to nationals, and you know, at least part of your goal is now accomplished, but not all of it. kind of know what it is. You could tell at halftime they knew, already knew what, what needed to happen. I feel like they were just driving the ball on us way too much. And um, a lot of it was one-on-one -on -one type stuff. And uh, so, you know, we just challenged each other. I challenged them to sit down and guard. I mean, if that's what this team is about and that's what we do, we should be able to do it. 
and these guys stepped up and guarded and challenged shots and you know even when they played small I mean guys like DT being able to get out and block a three-point shot I mean those kind of things are intimidating and I think on the other end um, we shot the right shots and we were I guess you know Kevin Greer I mean he just took the game over he started at the four but even at the three he was a mismatch, you know, just getting into the paint and making plays for himself and, and other guys. And like you said about Jay Mike, they make a three and then he turns around and, and bangs one. I mean, he's so confident in his abilities and in himself. And once he gets in a rhythm, I mean, he's just hard to, to you know, keep from making buckets. He really is. And he attacked the basket very well. And, you know, he, he took on the challenge of guarding Johnny Davis. I mean, that's, that's the guy that he wanted to guard just because that's the way he's built, you know, and he took on that challenge. And, and like he said, I think the way he guarded just kind of fueled him offensively. And, you know, Mike was just a steady force for us all game long for these last two games. I mean, he's been so solid and, and making the right plays and, and the leader of, of us. And I feel like he guarded well, too, man. He really did a pretty good job of, of keeping Cleveland, especially in the second half, out of the paint. And, um, you know, it's just all-around team effort. I mean, I can name – so many guys that made so many plays for us, but that's the way it's been for us this season. Was that a hard call to make? Because uh, Derek was actually playing pretty well early second yeah. half, but but they were hurting you on the other end because of the of, you know their alignment with with 33 sitting in the corner there. Well, I mean it's it's just you know it's a tough call. Sometimes you just get a feeling and you just roll with it, you know and. Uh, Kevin, I know he's capable of making plays and getting to the paint, whether he's playing the three or the four, and he's so strong and, and tough underneath, and he doesn't like to show it very often, but he is a really good athlete, and um, so he's able to get up there and get rebounds and do all of those things and sit down and guard and, and all of that, and so he's definitely capable of holding his own against a bigger forward and still being able to kill him on the offensive end, just making plays. He, he just seems like he just makes the right plays, whether it's getting it to the basket or, or kicking out to open guys. We have time. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the ball's wet. Yeah. It will take one more question for you or all the players, and we'll let them go get three. God bless you. Mike, just your, thought, your thoughts on, on where this team's headed and, and you know, the way you've been able to kind of lead them when they needed and they needed quick energy bursts and you've you know, been explosive. And uh, We definitely have to rely on our defense. I mean, that's what's going to be point blank when we go up here. We can't have any lapses uh, defensively, losing anybody. I mean, these teams coming off from all, the, uh, all these other regions, they had sets. They have uh, offenses that they know, that they're structured, and uh, we're just going to have to go and, and play on our principles and really be disciplined. And, and I think, like I said earlier, the outcome would turn out well for us if we really rebound and, and do our know our details on defense, know our assignments. It, it'll be a, a great, great tournament. Well, guys, congrats. We're going to keep coach for just a couple more minutes, but uh, enjoy the night and uh, good luck up over in uh, Holland Heights. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Good job, man. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Hey, we're meeting a little bit. We're going to take a picture when I get back. That's right. Congratulations. That's okay. That's good. No, that's all good. And uh, we'll take a, a few more questions for coach before we let him go. It's hard to pick all tournament for your team because you got different players every game. Yeah. You know, you, you know, Grayer really helped you. Yeah. And the Buttermore kind of helped you win a game. And so, I mean, can you kind of just expound on, on what your team means to you that you can kind of pull some different levers? One, I'm glad I don't have to make those decisions. You know, um, these guys just play, and they've been so great all year long of playing for each other and. Um, you know, when, when guys come and, and they're used to playing a lot of minutes and, you know, having to ask them to maybe play less minutes so they can give us 110% on the def defensive end, I mean, these guys have just been unselfish and they understand what it takes to win games. And, you know, these guys want to win a national championship. So whatever these guys can do to sacrifice for the betterment of this team, they've been willing to do it all year long. And, um, you know, I've just been able to coach the game you know, I really have been. I mean, these guys have, they've supported each other. And of course, 
sometimes maybe they don't like coming out the game and I don't expect them to, but at the same time they're they're focused in on on the task at hand and, and attention to detail and playing hard for each other and these guys really believe that. What did you see as being the, the, the big difference in the second half? Just keeping guys in front, you know, really keeping guys in front and then rebounding the basketball on the back end. Uh, I felt offensively in the first half we missed some easy shots around the basket that maybe if we'd have made it may have been a six, you know, maybe we're up six at the half instead of being a tie ball game. I thought. Uh, we rebounded the ball well on the offensive end, but we just had some tip-ins that usually go in that didn't go in. Uh, so I felt good about that. Um, I felt if we didn't turn the ball over, you know what they did? They did a great job of denying our guards on the reversal, but in doing that, they kept the middle of the floor open, and that's when Kevin Gray really took over the basketball game, was able to get into the paint and make some plays. Um, I mean, he's just a... He's so versatile, and I mean, he's a guy that played point in junior college, and you know, we have him playing the wing, and he's strong and tough enough to play the four, and you know, he just has a high skill level and a high basketball IQ, and he's just a good mix with all these guys. And I thought DT has some great stretches also. I mean, four blocks out of him, you know, 11 and six. I mean, he's and he's stepping up and making free throws. How about that? We shot 82 percent from the free throw line. Pretty special group. It may hit the rim a few times, but it dropped in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we coached that. What did you tell them at Just what I told you, just, you know, we just got to keep them in front. I mean, we got to keep those guys in front and not allow those guys to penetrate and kick out. But, you know, what happens when you play a team like that is when they pick and pop and, you know, your second defender that's supposed to hedge or um, – what not, I mean, they don't stay long enough because of the guys popping. And sometimes the guard can kind of get um, get kind of dependent on having help out of that forward. And, you know, it's – but I felt like a lot of times those guys were just dribbling and just getting past us, even off the dribble without the screen. So we kind of should have – we backed off a little bit and just really focused on keeping guys in front instead of maybe pressuring the basketball, kind of what we were – used to doing, you know, with most teams, but they're great off the bounce. They really are, and they really find each other, and, you know, I mean, it's, and then when we rebound the basketball, it's, that's the end part of it. It takes a lot to stop, stop guys like that, that can penetrate and pitch, and that are so unselfish, and they can shoot the basketball as well. I'm not, I'm not the press, but I've got to ask Nelson something. Sure. It's, I too felt, for some reason, that about six minutes to go felt like celebrating that we were only about five points ahead. Really? And we really started, we seemed to take over. Yeah. Did, did we tire them down or did we just pick up our game? I think that's, I think that's part of it. And, but the thing about this team is like if we're up that big, especially with maybe five, four, you know, four minutes to go, the way we guard, I think sometimes maybe other teams can get to where they maybe go one-on-one -on -one a little bit, which kind of plays into our hands because I just feel like if we sit down and guard and force them to make contested shots and then rebound it on the back end of it, we can now run a little bit more offense. And um, But, you know, I thought just KG was a big part of the game, just being able to really attack inside the paint and make plays. I told him if, if we didn't turn the basketball over, I felt like we could get layups on the back end of it. And so when you're you're up five and they may be pressing a little bit and you can guard and get a rebound and then you feel like if you're just solid with the basketball because they have to maybe take a few more chances defensively, we can maybe get layups on the back end of it. Yeah, which we did. And, and you know, we made free throws late. We really did. We made, made some big free throws. Guys stepped up and, and put them in the basket. Do we have a final question, Coach? I know they've got a team picture, and uh, he's, he's probably going to start watching Western Washington tape tonight. Probably. Yeah, absolutely. Knowing Coach. Since uh, you finally know Max Willie Day, is it the first year? I'd like to win a few more games, just three. All, that's all I want, you know, <laughs> just three more games. <laughs> but, um, you know, this it's just good to – I'm just so proud of these guys. I mean, this is – 
to me, this is the seniors team. And coming back from the Elite Eight, even on the plane ride back, it was a different look. And a lot of these guys that they were already thinking about going back and, and getting it done. And um, it's just been a goal of ours all year. And, you know, I guess it's a high goal, but it's something that, you know, we want to do as a basketball team. And um, so we're just looking forward to going up. Feels right. This is what should happen. And uh, we're going to start preparing and getting ready to go, taking it one game at a time. Coach, congratulations again, and uh, we'll be looking for you in the Hall of Fame. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.